Today is the start of the In the Open series oh, prep. Snap. Goodbye. See ya. It is 7 o'clock on a Friday night. 7 o'clock? Is it really? Yeah, 7 o'clock. Oh what happened to the day? I don't know. We're doing a one rep max snatch into this workout into a one rep max clean and jerk. So it's going to be fun. And we're warming up on the bike. What are we on? What are we on? You ready? I'm where I'm when we're watching. <laughs> this and then 14 to 21, one rep max squat. Okay? Um, when we start the clock, your bars have to be empty. And just so that we can start to get into like open mode, you always have to have clips on your bar. When we start the squat clean, you can start with your loaded 135-95 bar, so your bar's going to be empty for your squat cleans, right? But if you're lifting the bar, got to be clips on it. Figure out what you'd like to hit. Warm up to about 90, 92%. Hit it, strip down empty, give yourselves two or three attempts, and give yourselves at least two minutes at the end of the seven minutes to chill, change weight on your bar, and get ready for the meat of the workout. Does that make sense? All right, so we'll, 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 we'll consider start, we'll start the clock and let's call it like, how's everybody's bars up? We'll call it 10 minutes. We're gonna start the workout through to a go in 10 minutes. So you guys should all be warming up and hitting 90 minutes. So before we get into the actual open announcement of 18.1, the first one, I want to kind of take a look through my fridge really quick because I just went to the grocery store. And so I want to share with you guys some of like my staples, some of what I keep in my fridge. Obviously, if you've been following me for a while, this stuff probably looks pretty familiar. Oh, hi. 
<laughs> all right, so we're gonna start with the top. Up here I have all of my coffees and creamers and egg beaters and milk. So this is what I use for my morning coffee every single day. It is a Starbucks unsweetened iced coffee blonde rose, and sometimes I'll do vanilla. I have a caramel one right there, vanilla, caramel, and then they have this sweet and creamy one, which I bought because I didn't have vanilla at the time, but I don't actually really like it too much, so it's kind of like an extra. Uh, then other than that, we just have some egg beaters, egg whites, and unsweetened almond vanilla cashew blend. That's my favorite milk ever. And Starbucks just recently came out with this cold brew as well, so I've been using that to make my protein coffee because I just like the taste of the cold brew better with the protein powder. Over here, we just have some uh, tomato trinity stuff. This is what I cook my beef in and everything like that. These are some mushrooms. I have some, a meal that I'm gonna eat post training today. This is some ground beef, some chickpea pasta, broccoli slaw, and Trader Joe's queso. I have some light and fit Dannon Greek yogurt. This is for like fruit yogurt, granola bowls, and stuff like that. I'm gonna grill this chicken tomorrow when I do my meal prep video. Here is already cooked ground beef. This was just cooked on the stove. Lower sodium. Honey ham from Oscar Mayer. Not my favorite, but it works for the pizzas. Some brown eggs, these were on sale at Target, that's why I have two different eggs. <laughs> uh, and here we have mostly breakfast stuff. So I've got some uncured chicken bacon, turkey sausages, some fat-free cheeses, Asiago, Laughing Cow, those are like my staples to mix into the scrambles in the morning. And then down here, I just have some fresh fruit. So I've got blueberries, pineapples, blackberries, strawberries, an extra creamer because my vanilla is almost out. And then for just on the go, just in case, I do have two meals from Catered Fit. This is a local company, uh, Big John, in the beginning of this video, he works for them. And he hooked me up with an awesome deal. So I got two of those. Down in my drawer, we have some baby carrots, asparagus, spinach, cauliflower crumbles, broccoli slaw, some Greek yogurt, uh, salted caramel cups. These are my absolute all-time favorite. They're so delicious. And then in the bottom, I just have some of these coconut cassava wraps, which they're okay. They're not my favorite. I definitely like the white corn tortillas better. I have some bagels, Kavita, lemon cayenne, and then I actually have diet ginger ale from when I got sick <laughs> a couple weeks ago that I'd never drank. And then of course, this is just the condiments, the usual, you guys have seen these, I'm sure. My staples, chaluha sauce, as I've been told is how you pronounce it. Fat-free whipped cream for my coffee. Sometimes I have regular whipped cream too, if I'm feeling a little crazy. Stubbs barbecue sauce for the pizza. Reduced sugar ketchup, some butter spray. Mini Reese's because life. <laughs> Uh, and that's pretty much it for the fridge. My freezer, on the other hand, is another story that I really don't even want to talk about right now because I have so much shit in there. Save that for another day. But also, just a couple of other things I do want to mention. My favorite peanut butters are the Jif Natural and Jif Natural Honey. These are the bomb. And then for a lower fat option that I also like to make the pancake topping with is chocolate PB2. We'll just check out the pantry really quick for some snacks and other things. Steel cut oats, flax seeds, I've got some granola, some chips, some uh, pita crisps from Trader Joe's. And then here, of course, my little ice cream cups. I love those. Fiber One bars, freeze-dried bananas. These are like so delicious. I wish they weren't so expensive. I get these at Publix. They're called Alyssa's Healthy Oatmeal Bites. I'm literally in love with them. They're so delicious and soft. And then just like some snack things back there, some uh, Icon Meals protein popcorn. I know it looks like it's unorganized, but it's not. I just don't want to reach in there and pull them all out. And then down there is like more baking stuff, gluten-free powders and our flour, regular flour. And not really too much going on in the cabinets. We got pastas, pancakes, more rice, and then the spices. And I just recently cleaned this out, so I'm gonna show you guys. This is my protein snack area. So in this, bucket I have my favorite chips and cookies that are protein and then in this one it is all protein bars I literally could feed an entire army with how many protein bars I have like just for reference can you like this is so heavy look at this <laughs> as you guys can tell my favorite protein bars are power crunch what is that what is mommy doing with the protein oh they're they're getting their snooters in there excuse me excuse me get your snooters out of there this is what is in my fridge 
pretty much every day, but also in preparation for the open. Gotta eat good. Gotta eat good to perform good, right guys? Uh, can you fix your ear? Oh, no. Point one, let's go back to the competition floor. Ladies and gentlemen, for the announcement of 18.1, the director of the CrossFit Games, Dave Castro. Here we go. Last year, we introduced the dumbbell oh, geez. to the open with 17.1. Please no. He's so dramatic. 18.1 is not 17.1. Thank God. Thank God. 18.1 will include the dumbbell. 18.1 is a triplet. The first part of the triplet is toes to bar. The third part of the triplet is calories on oh, no. the concept to rower. Oh, whew. The second part of the triplet is the dumbbell. What is he doing? The hang clean to overhead. Oh. 18.1 is eight toes to bar, 10 hang clean to overhead, five on each arm, 14 cows for the men, 12 cows for the women. As many rounds and reps as possible in five minutes. Oh, no, 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 no. 10 minutes. Is he lying? No, of course not. 15 minutes. Is he serious? As many rounds and reps as possible in 20 minutes. Welcome to the 2018 Open. He just mic dropped it. 20 minutes. As you guys know, I've been battling a cold for the last week, and I said to myself, I really hope that Castro gives a five to eight minute workout on Friday so I can just get it over with. It won't be too crazy, and I can still focus on recovering over the weekend. 20 minutes, really. Cool. Uh, so yeah, I think my limiting factor on this workout is definitely going to be the rower. Uh, this is more so just an engine workout, so I'm not sure if it's worth doing twice. I'm pretty positive Alex will want me to do it twice, but whatever. I mean, we'll see how it goes. I'm just hoping I wake up feeling better tomorrow, because <laughs> as of right now, it's not going so well. So we'll see what happens, uh, but... I am excited to share with you guys the very first 18.1 workout in the next video. I'll see you then. Thank you so much for watching.